Oh, car submerged. It was a terrible thing about a Coast Guard helicopter went down and this people's house was totally underwater. And so they were all in the attic, but there was no way that they could survive because there was no place higher to go. Is it 50 now, up to 50 people? I mean, it, it, it's one of those things where they say, leave, leave now, and then the wind is like 32 miles an hour. So I, I, I realize people think, although they kept showing the radar of this storm, so it was certain that it was not going to be something small. But I don't think anybody expected it to be quite what it did. Wow. Dr. Mom said someone hid in the closet and the house got ripped apart. Oh, okay. Roberto, I will look for that. Hey, Hawks Post. Bleep, blurb. I can't remember if NB, well, <laughs> Jim, I can't even remember the name of the, the rest of your uh, chat room name. Are you in chat? There's a part two of the, that was great last week, uh, doing that poll. So Jim is going to be chat room celebrity of the week next week. And then the following week, we're going to do part two of the poll, which is 10 new questions. It was great. It was great fun. Oh, Tech Dino, you did the second poll? Great. Thank you for that. Part two. Oh, you know, uh, Tech Dino, can you put the link up? Because Jim said they opened the poll again. We have 50 people. I'd love to get like 75. I'd like to hit 100 people having their input. So, Tech Dino, if you could put the link up to the poll, that would be great. My chat room has a view for radio. Wow. And Myra didn't do the poll yet. Anybody have the link to the second poll? Uh, uh, uh. Sample size matters. There's a second poll. Logan 5. If anybody remembers the link to the second poll, could you post it here in chat? Because obviously we have, uh, uh, there it is. Bill in Michigan, thank you. It is up there now, Survey Monkey. Perfect. So go there. Yeah. Oh, you, you missed last week's show? It was great. We had 10 questions. It was fascinating. Uh, a lot of fun. So, like I said, if we can get, it would be great to hit 100. I don't even know if we. Oh, is that the link to the first one? I have the link to the second one, but it's on another computer. Mm -mm -mm. I think N4 said he was not going to be here this week. Uh, that's why he's chat room celebrity of the week. It's titled Giz Fizz Survey 2, if that helps anybody. Uh, up, uh, G. Scott, that survey too. Uh, 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 look for the survey that ends in 8KX. G. Scott. Oh, currently closed? Oh, I thought he reopened it. 
Oh, no, it must be open because Myra Joyce said, I just did the poll. How can that be? Myra got to do it. <laughs> Celery of the week. And Dr. Mom said it's open. Uh, she just did the poll. Oh, also, I stopped updating. If you're using gizwizbizsquarespace.com, uh, please change it to either gizwiz.biz or gizwiz.me because uh, the first one was built on Squarespace 5 and it doesn't work in even with the uh, the new Microsoft, what is their new? Uh, I don't use Microsoft uh, website. Edge it doesn't work in Chrome. Edge, yeah. If you go into Edge and ask for the Chrome thing, the website still doesn't work there. So I can't update it, and also it keeps changing the typeface. It, it's so old that if you call to ask them something, they go. Well, there was a version five. <laughs> the people who work there, it's been so long. And also the company's been sold since my website went up. I think Leo, I think Twit was the first place. The guy who founded Squarespace ran ads. And Leo came to New York and we went and we had a tour of the place. And we all got lifetime websites which is another problem because I can't update anything because I am not in their computer system. So my website was sort of just running out there in space. Ooh. So I'm using the one that Myra uh, transferred over to WordPress. Did a great job and knocked it down so it's mobile friendly now. Also, Google is driving me crazy with your website's not mobile ready. You're going to be penalized. Uh, well, oh, you know, probably this month we'll have a virtual meetup. October is Gizwiz month. Um, okay, we're just waiting for Burke to finish setting up, and then we will begin our show. <laughs> You know, I wonder, is, is MySpace still in Almost existence? Ready. Oh, okay. Almost. Yeah, I used to run a, a mad magazine, MySpace website. No, we, uh, I have to talk to Chad. It'll be sometime in October because Chad's doing a lot of traveling in November. Yeah, Google is the worst. And Microsoft is right behind it. Because they keep knocking me offline. You should not be using Explorer. Was it Explorer Eleven? This works better. Doesn't work better. Just mm -hmm. use Chrome. That's all. That's all you need to use. Uh, well, Chrome has trouble with it. So oh, well, here, I mean, well, then you need to change the. Yes, you need to change the website. If Chrome well, has trouble doing. with it, then it's in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, there's no poll three. If somehow a, a new poll opened, it would be the same questions as two. And we'll just ask Tech Dino or Jim when all the results are in to just combine the results because so it would be I the do, same. I do have questions. a PDF that okay. says GizFizz survey round two. So I have that to show if we want to show that. Uh, okay. We'll get, we're not going to, because we're, we're asking more people to answer the questions. Okay. So we're just going to pretend okay. that doesn't exist until we have the more. The, yeah. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Exactly. Exactly. We, uh, John Jammer B sent two videos um, I oh, think he okay. Wants to see I, I'm from the road, uh, like okay, like this, uh, like not like uh, not even an hour, a couple hours ago. 
Oh, okay. Uh, George Great. sent a video. I don't think we could play it. He got it from YouTube, and I don't have. I'm not. I don't have time to check to see if it's copyright. Yeah. Okay. So, but we have his photos. I just wanted to say that I'm almost ready. Okay. Uh, has anyone checked the polls to make sure they weren't hacked and some <laughs> stole the election? Uh, hmm. It's all organic. Oh, yeah, we have to, you know, after we do poll two, we'll wait a couple of weeks and we'll ask the chat room to come up with a poll three. Because they're great fun. Loke said, okay, I took the survey. <laughs> and there'll be another and another. Cheese whiz. It's kind of amazing how Mad ended up the way it did from the largest selling Mad ever was. Let's do it. I have thing on my door. Maybe I'll try and get it for next time. Uh, the Poopside Down Adventure issue sold, I believe, 2.7 million copies, which was an astounding number for any magazine, <laughs> let alone a satirical magazine without ads. Huh? Oh, all surveys will be combined together. So when will you be doing the reality show? <laughs> No reality show for me. Let's see. The, the only sort of reality show I ever worked on was Goodson had a show called That's My Line. Anybody ever remember seeing That's My Line? That's My Line was a... <laughs> testing, not even the, the cricket sort. Um that's my line was a summer replacement in 1980 on CBS. And it was people with weird occupations that you didn't play a game for. Actually, they sent camera crews out. And um, the most amazing was a blind carpenter who built bookcases tables i mean it was uh, the the watching the video of him using the bandsaw i i think oh my god this is like actually scary that, and incredible that's pretty impressive yeah uh, i am ready all right let's do it <clears throat> actually after i choked down the let, Last of the candy bar here. Let me take a drink of coffee. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. This is regular old fashioned Giz Fizz, October 1st, 2022, episode 495. Starting in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time for It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old fashioned. Giz Fizz. Wow. Wow, episode 495. I think on episode 500, aren't we supposed to show uh, House in the Middle again? I think we are. I think we are. If we aren't, we are now. Okay, so on the... Oh, who wants to be chat room celebrity of the week? 
not even the crickets. We have hit rock bottom. Oh, there, there they are. There they are. Well, we have a, we have uh, Jim Reed next week. We do have a chat room celebrity of the week. Okay, we have photo cap for, captions from George Davis. We have facts from George Davis. We have some videos from Jamma B. We're going to have match game. We're going to do logo. We're going to do snappy answers that you make up to a stupid question that we will tell you. And that will all begin right this minute with photo number one. Compliments of George Davis. Ta-da! Okaroo, best hour of the week. Okay. A cute little girl with butterfly wings. A cute little girl with pretty much life-size butterfly wings. All right. If you're listening, you just make up any sort of a caption that might fit that picture. Um, bum, bum. Girl wishing, <laughs> girl wishing she should she could be chat room celebrity of the week. I'm so cute, I can't stand it. Tinkerbell in training, come fly with me. You mean I'm a federal judge? Just think, last week she was a creepy caterpillar. I want to fly away from here. She was a cute caterpillar too. Uh, this is looking at a butterfly under a microscope. Uh, oh my God, they're flying. Uh, future Victoria's Secret, gone. Uh, Angie learns how to fly to, uh, okay. I always knew I was adopted. I wonder why she looked, I wonder what she looks like as a caterpillar. Pepsi logo. My mommy is Tinkerbell. Uh, I was even cuter as a cocoon. Uh, she looks like a flutterfly, a flutter by fairy. Expression she sees when a large sparrow, gone. I need milkweed, not milk. Princesses are getting younger every day. Uh, I'm not ready to be born yet. When kids start flying, first time doing jury duty. Mommy, kids telling me my dad was Mothra. Uh, Casco has candy. Maybe one day humans will fly. Why does everybody keep staring at my horrible birth defect? Oh, my God. Why are there bubbles all around? Fly, my pretty butterfly. Fly away. Swallowtail princess. Remaking the movie to fly, this time with butter. Oh, that's, that's very funny. Uh, monarch, monarch, can you talk? Uh, Big Bird ate her seconds after this photo. Time to fly away. And we'll end with Logan 5, original Halloween costume. George said, for a young girl with butterfly wings on, my caption is, oh, Halloween is coming up soon. My mom made these wings for our preschool party. Don't they look great? Uh, we got some Halloween matches. Uh, photo two is... Mm -mm -mm. All right, a Doberman with a wooden weight in its mouth. Okay, Doberman with a wooden dumbbell in its mouth. Well, he doesn't look quite as scary as some Dobermans, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go into a a room take that where thing he was away from him. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Uh, da -da uh, I can bench press twenty pounds pumping iron. This tree tastes terrible. This is one heavy bone. I can clean and press five pounds. We must, we must improve our teeth. Arnold Schwarzenegger's dog must be a two thing. Rocky, best, bestest milk bone ever. L.A. says, I dare you to take it. Hey, buddy, is this yours? Yep, I can press my weight. Can you? Since I can't use my arm to lift weights, I use my mouth. Who are you calling a dumbbell? 
Hey, help me get this out of my teeth. Clipped ear. Tip of the left ear is gone. Uh, don't make me hit you with this. Doberman with a gym addiction. A bone to pick with you. Looks heavier than it is. Dog mistakes bone with barbell. This could be a leg. Got a cookie. Come and get it. Let go of my ego. Who are you calling dumbbell? I'm good boy. Did you yank my chain? I'm the ugliest dog ever. No, not really. 10 reps, three sets. I'm not dumb. I know it's a bell. I jumped out as a butterfly a few moments ago. Jaw chin ups. And we'll end with Dr. Venkman. I'm not liking these new milk bones. Uh, George said for a Doberman carrying a false weight in its mouth. Uh, my caption is my dogs, my dog friends have bad eyesight. I'm going to tell them this is a 25 pound weight and they'll be impressed. Uh, okay, photo three is mm -mm, a, a person, can't tell if it's a man or a woman, probably a woman, a person halfway into a, a huge washing machine, okay? Washing machines are stacked one on the other, that's a dryer. and this person, oh, that's a dryer? For sure. Okay. This person is partway into a dryer or down to the waist. Top half of her is in or him is in a dryer. Uh, where's my sock? Going for a spin. Uh, uh, I forgot to take the pocket watch out of my pocket. Where's that damn sock? I found the other sock in search of socks. It's a dryer. Got to get that other sock. Boy, everybody loses socks. Uh, hey, my socks going for a tumble. Attack of the killer dryer. This is not what I meant when I said, let's take a spin. Uh, can someone help me? I got to do some spins. Where's my 20? My sock is in there somewhere. Wow, these are going so fast. I wish I know I had a penny in my pocket. See if they can fit into the dryer. This woman is actually climbing out of a dryer. Good to the last sock. Um, no, you cannot have my last pair of socks. My <laughs> my hair is almost dry. That's very funny, Black Rock. Uh, trying to dry my hair? Oh, two in a row. Need signs to tell people to take clothes off first. And we'll end with Alice. Are you in there? All right. Okay. George said, for a person who is sticking out of a clothes dryer, my caption is, help. I'm not kidding. I'm really stuck here. There's 10 bucks in it for you if you get me out of here. Um, okay. Photo four. From George Davis is, wow, tropical island where the water is incredibly clear. We can see right to the bottom. And it's two kids in a canoe rowing. Okay. Tropical island. We see some sheds uh, built on a pier in the back and two kids rowing over crystal clear water um let's catch some fish terrific wi-fi out here paddling in paradise this is in florida uh i can swim canoe uh, uh, up a creek 100 miles inland into florida i'm feeling a little dry today florida sure is different too soon can you canoe club fed the blue lagoon Uber style, Florida commute, Uber boating, I can't canoe, uh, rowing off into a sunset, look at Florida today after hurricane, Fort Myers beach taxi, your Uber's here, I'm going deep sea diving, uh, Miami in the year 2025, cheap cruise, um, 
uh, combine this with the butterfly girl and you get face canoes. Uh, and it will end with blood pressure drop 20 points. Just looking at this scene, says James. And let's see. Uh, photo for two young boys paddling a catamaran. George said, we're going over to Alberto's. We're going to Alberto's hut today to play some computer games. We'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Photo five. Uh, okay. It's a wooden swing on the front porch. A uh, kind of swing that hangs from the ceiling on chains. Wooden chain swing. And it's on the porch of a log cabin. Wow. Okay. My retirement plans. Minus the bike. Gone fishing. I think that's the last one. I miss grandpa. Not what I meant when I asked if you're a swinger. <laughs> Disneyland porch, log cabin porch of my dreams. Um, where did I leave my glasses? Aunt B is making me a pie. The cabin is off kilter. Mosquito zapper included. Just got back from biking time to relax. I bet you a hundred dollars. There's an outhouse in the backyard. Uh, off to get the cushions for my nap. Hell Rising 9, the front porch, at a cushion, iced tea rock, your troubles away, a log cabin with ceiling lights, don't swim me too hard, all I need is a banjo, a corn pipe, and sit here and whittle, God, when was the last time you saw the word whittle, on the porch of the last picture cabin, Opie, you left your bike on the porch again. Hey, kids, we got to get out of here. A hurricane is coming. Went to chop wood. Be right back. Uh, I heard there's swingers, and we'll end with Hawks Post Termite Playground. Uh, could be. And George said, uh, front porch swing. My caption, in the summertime when there's thunder and lightning storms, we come out here to play because it's safe. Uh, okay, uh, photo six of six is uh, uh, um. Well, just double A. Well, more than double A. Uh, uh, batteries in a pile. <laughs> okay, we don't live know if they're new or used, but batteries laying every which way. Little batteries like. AA size batteries. Um, which one of these batteries still has a charge? Uh, Tech Dino says, dangerous to have a battery fire. Don't mix batteries. New Tesla batteries, battery wasteland. Ms. D, I'm spent. Time to sort the battery drawer. Yeah, me too. Uh, where do I throw used batteries? Not a chargeable one in the whole batch. Arcing causes fires. Expired Battery Cemetery, Ever Ready Wins Again, uh, Got to Recycle These Someday, Battery Cemetery, Toxic Wasteland for Electric City, Waiting for My Battery Storage Case to Organize, Copper Top Dominates, uh, Doris Hell in the Front Looks Like It's Seen Better Days, All Battery Brands That Leak, and we'll end with got to tape the ends for recycling, declare. I never thought about that. Do people do that? Tape the ends of batteries before they recycle them? Um, George says, for the small pile of used batteries, my caption is, over the years, I've saved all my used batteries and turned them in for safe disposal. I'm doing my share. Okay. Oh, uh, interesting facts. Dan, da, da, da. 
around the world, Lego sells how many pieces per hour? Well, that's going to be hard to do. Around the world, the Lego companies sells how many Lego pieces per hour? Um, wow, f just 50? 10,000? Too many? 2 million? Wow, 50 billion? Doug M says a bajillion. Uh, more than one, four, but they are really big. <laughs> Very funny. 29 million, 5,000. One damn too many, more than enough. 42,000, 50K, not enough, says iTech. 100 trillion, four and a half million, 45,000 still. Um, 420,000, says Becky. Probably a million in every Walmart in the US. Um, enough to keep. Sargasso C floating, 200,000K, a 200K, 100K. Uh, well, I'm with Merce Angel, enough to fill Albert Hall. You have a, be uh, a guess, Burke? I would say 5,000 an hour. 5,000 an hour. You're off just by several million. <laughs> the answer oh, is. Lego sells 4 million Lego pieces an hour. Someone was close. Someone had four and a half million. That's a good business to be yeah. in, it sounds like. That, that is. A, and what's amazing is they're still doing it, even though they lost, they forgot to recopyright it or whatever it is. I don't think they, lo they forgot to. I think there's a limit. They hit a limit on it. Because oh, there, was yeah, it? Okay. Because there are imitation Legos out there that work with Lego Everywhere. systems. But yes. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, okay. A single cloud can weigh more than how many pounds? So <laughs> I thought clouds had no weight. A single cloud, well, I guess if it's a rain cloud, it weighs a lot. A single cloud can weigh more than. How many pounds? 50,000. A single cloud. Well, it's got rain in it. It is water I'm vapor. Gonna... So if yeah. it's a cloud, it's water vapor. So it would be how much is that water vapor weigh? Five tons. <laughs> I'm redacted. Four, more than four million Legos. Uh... A cloud, nine pounds, 7,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds. What's the dimension of the cloud? That's, we don't have that kind true. of info. Um, so they said more than. Yeah. It just says a single cloud can weigh more than. Well, a single I cloud could, be, could weigh more than one pound. That's true. That's my answer. Is that your answer, one pound? Yes. It's very hard to, to get a handle on this. Uh, I will do the answer. A single cloud can weigh more than one million pounds. I don't <clears> think <throat> anybody got even came close to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. mm -mm. Uh, question three. George said, this is a really neat question that everyone will like. Oh, wow. An average person in their lifetime will spend more time waiting for a red light to turn green. How much, how much longer than this Will they wait? It's a little, I'll read it again. Average person in their lifetime will spend more time than this waiting for a red light to change to a green light. Boy. So basically, how lifetime? long will a person wait for red lights? 
Yeah, at in their in their, in their lifetime. lifetime, in their lifetime. Well, you know, light cycles are. All right, I'm going with two months and a time of life. No. Um, more than an hour, year and a half, 345 days. Don't forget, that's all that, was it, 45 seconds of waiting four months? You have an answer, Burke? My answer is one week. One week. I'm going with one month. Some people are doing minutes. Becky's doing 4.2 years. Well, let's see what George said. Um... An average person in their lifetime will spend more time waiting for a red light to change. Oh, they will spend six months waiting for a red light to change. The average, wow. <laughs> the average person. The average person sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Do New Yorkers? New Yorkers will spend that much time. Uh, well, they, New York is done. What we in New York, a red light is a suggestion, exactly. Not exactly, not a yeah. I know uh, when Leo and Lisa came to town, <laughs> we were walking around 42nd Street and we we're crossing the street, and the light was yellow turning to red. And I said, We can make this, Lisa. And we ran across, and she said, uh, That was like dangerous that was like we almost crossed on a red light and i said lisa red lights are a suggestion it's like a serving suggestion Wait, you see on it's a, a box. suggestion for the cars not for the people yes yes <laughs> uh, i'll tell you a quick a quick joke um god i forgot the comedian's name he was on carson and he was a native new yorker and he flew out to do the show and he Three in the morning, he's a late night person. He's walking around Beverly Hills. There's no nobody around anywhere. And he crosses the street on a red light. And he hears someone go, Yoo-hoo. And he just keeps walking. And he hears again, Yoo-hoo. And he so who, who the hell was yelling Yoo-hoo? And he turns around and coming toward him is a cop and the cop gives him a lecture on you don't cross against a red light no matter what time of day or night or traffic conditions and he said now let's compare that with new york city i'm on 42nd street and broadway and a man crosses against the light zigzagging in and out of traffic. And when he gets to the other side, there's a cop standing there. And the cop says, oh my God, that was amazing. I never thought you could do it. That's the difference between crossing the street in New York and Beverly Hills. Um, okay. Uh -um. Another interesting fact to go along with the number one uh, question about Legos. Wow. How could this be? Oh, I'll, I'll just read you the fact. I'll read the whole thing. This is an interesting fact to go along with the fact about the Legos. There are more Lego mini fix, uh, mini figures in the entire world than there are people. Wow. What? There are more, yeah, that's what it says. There are more Lego minifigures in the entire world than there are people. Elmo says, I believe it. True. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Do you, you have a video from George, right? I do, but I don't know if it's safe to play. 
Oh, I see. Oh, that. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm he, sorry. He oh, did sorry. get it from you too. Uh, he said so. Uh, oh, okay. Well, then, then, uh, okay. Uh, George Ensworth, I enjoyed the show this week. Thanks everybody for contributing to it. As I always say, stay safe, keep happy, and I'll see you next time. Bye, George. George, thank you so much. This is great. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll do Jamma B stuff. Okay. He has two. And here's the first one. Okay. Any explanation? Just no explanation. <laughs> oh, no explanation. Okay. I, I, From Jamma B. Yeah, I trust him. Who's traveling? Uh, I think he's on his, his way favorite to band, right? um, Las Vegas. I think he said he was on the Tehachapi Pass uh, when I talked to him earlier today. Okay. And he is doing this because a band he loves is playing. Is that correct? I believe that would be a correct uh, assessment. Uh, some, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Like From Jamma B. Let's see here. Now, I thought I had it. Hold on. Magoo says, thank you, George. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, serious. This is a movie, right? Oh, okay. Well, I'm on my way to the last Roger Waters show I'm going to see, close to the end of his tour. He's got uh, two shows in Texas after this, then a couple shows in Mexico. Pink Floyd. Then it's a break, and then he continues in Europe. Thought I'd stop by one of my favorite haunts on uh, my way to Vegas on the 58, the Tehachapi Loop. No trains going by today, uh, yet, or right now. Um, if a train goes by really soon, I'll make a video of it. Otherwise, enjoy this October 1st Saturday Giz Fizz, and I'll see you next weekend. Oh, okay. Right, we got one more. Oh, I, I, he probably found the train. Maybe. Oh, you know, I should tell people this loop that, that, uh, I, I hear what Jamie B's talking about. Oh, that, that's just good. Oh, getting oh, ready to leave. I heard a horn honk, and a couple minutes later, there's the train coming up the loop. Okay, so the train oh, is going so up a very steep. <laughs> It's a very steep incline that trains can't do. They can only do something like two or three percent grade, and so the trains go and crown these incredible loops as they work their way up to the elevation that they need to be at. Um, and as, he, yeah, as Jim said, there's, there's a train one going up and one going yes, down. Yes, one in each direction. Pretty amazing. Uh, okay, it's only a twenty second video. Okay. Yeah, they're short. Well, that was the whole video. Yeah, that was it. That's this is the second okay. one. Yeah, I just wanted to show the trains. So they are. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Couldn't they have just taken <laughs> trains? Are cool. Yeah, and they have uh, incredible amounts of uh, engines. The long freight trains have up to ten engines pulling mid train two or three diesels, and then helper trains usually at the back. And then I believe coming down, they sometimes have helper trains that couple on to add more breakage because if the trains get going too fast, the brakes don't hold. Yeah, so they have the extra... The Tehachapi Pass, I think, is like, it's just the, it's like one of the tallest parts that trains have to get over around here so exactly yep. and yeah it's 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 bigger than ho okay we're going to do dum, da, dum. what okay we're going to do logo we're going to do a uh, slogans what company uses used or uses think small what company used or uses think small? Not Viagra <laughs> and not Trojan. The Munchkin Factory, that's very funny. Walmart, Micro Machines, 
Fiat Pee Wee Toys, Acme Toothpicks, Brains R Us, that's very funny, Swift Bird, Preparation H, Black Flag and Killer, Microsoft, Tonka, Raid and Traps. Oh, that's funny. Bill in Michigan, Tom Thumb Enterprises, Suppositories, Volkswagen, Mini Mates, Reese's. Wow. What company uses Think Small? Burke, any idea? Well, I had a, I had a sarcastic answer, but I think it's Mini Cooper, I hope. It is indeed Volkswagen. And we had, uh, I, I saw two oh, Volkswagens Oh, go and by. we have an extra participant here today, so. Oh, yes, okay. He's, he's looking at the camera like like he's like he's feeling guilty. Okay. Oh, sorry. my God. I'm sorry, I was too busy working to pay attention to the question. What's going on? It's okay. He, he didn't give okay. you a chance to what, answer what? anyway. Oh, wait, great. Actually, uh, he doesn't know, so go ahead. What company uses the slogan, think small? Think small? I have no idea. Okay. Volkswagen. Uh, okay, this one is easier. What company uses the pain reliever hospitals use most? Wait a minute. I think I remember. Hang on. Um, all right. You got this um, one. Uh, all right. Uh, Tylenol. Oh, Graham, Dr. Mom. Well, they, they just go with that. <laughs> Bayer. Tylenol. The pain reliever. Hospitals, hospitals and Dr. Most. Mom use most. Sledgehammer. Morphine. Tylenol. Nurse Ratchet. Oh, she just died. Morphine, St. Joseph's aspirin, uh, almond hammer, morphine. <laughs> Dr. Mama used bourbon. <laughs> a hammer to the skull. Uh, all right, Burke, it sounded like you knew what it was. Pain relief. Oh, yeah, what is your answer? I was going to say bear, bear aspirin. but um, Bayer aspirin. Bayer okay, Tylenol Alex. Might be the right one. Alex, you got an answer? Yeah, I think Bayer. Bayer, too. Okay. Um, I think it's Tylenol. Uh, uh, um, Tylenol. Okay. Um, I mean, I prefer okay. uh, a hammer, but yeah. A hammer, yeah. Um, oh, well, oh, this is interesting. <clears throat> I never knew this. Although ketchup is Heinz's signature product, what type of sauce did Henry Heinz first bottle and it was back in 1869 although ketchup is Heinz's signature product what kind of sauce did henry Heinz first bottle back in 1869 barbecue chili boy Uh, there's some right answers earlier. You saw it? You, you know what it is? Pretty sure. Well, the only thing I can think of that's... Uh, uh, I'm going with mustard. Juju sauce, blood, snake oil. Uh, what What's your answer, uh, Burke? 57. Say that again? Heinz, 57. <laughs> Was the first thing he bottled? That's my answer. I'm hoping it's right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alex, um, you got an answer? Alex? I, I think just vinegar, right? Oh, Vin that's vinegar. A okay. I didn't think about that. Oh, wait. You know, I don't know if anybody got it. Although Heinz is, head, uh, is he although ketchup is Heinz's signature product, which sauce did Henry Heinz first bottle? In 1869, he first bottled horseradish. Oh, oh. No, nobody said that. 
No, I don't think so. I don't we're, think we're all so. losers. Well, I don't, yeah, we're I don't all, like exactly. horseradish either. Yeah. Mostly. And it's very funny because we don't even have to do this question because people already answered it. Uh, what number appears on every bottle of Heinz ketchup? Yeah. Five, seven. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, um, okay. What? what is the Kool-Aid man's catchphrase? What is the Kool-Aid man's catchphrase? Get bent. Alex knows this one. Drink me. Oh, yeah. Alex, you know what is it? Kool-Aid's... Uh, Kool-Aid I man's, do. It is... Oh yeah, and you agree but with much that? Much more Burke? emphasized. Actually, it's <laughs> oh yeah. See, there you go. Thank you, Burke. It is indeed. Oh yeah! Wow. Oh, I uh, I loved it. Okay, what was the name of the little red metal wagon that entered the national? Toy Hall of Fame in 1999. Everybody's going to get this, I think. The name of the little red metal wagon. Flexible flyer. Rose. <laughs> Big Red Fisher Price. Burke, your answer? Well, I knew it was something flyer, and I cheated and I accidentally saw the chat. But the correct answer is radio flyer. Uh, Alex, do you agree? I concur, radio flyer. It is indeed radio flyer is the original, yeah. <laughs> what? Which chain of restaurants derives its name from the Aztec word for a type of smoked chili pepper. Which chain of restaurants derives its name from the Aztec word for a type <laughs> of chili pepper? Apple, Applebee's? Chris Craft? Oh, G G G Chris? Taco Bell? Denny's Pizza Hut. But it's got to be Bob's Big Boy, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, Alex, the answer is? Oh, what was the question again? Uh, a chain of restaurants derives its name from the Aztec word for a type of smoked chili pepper. Chipotle? It is indeed. And I... Gathered from the laughs that it's definitely you Chipotle. also knew Burke. Yep, yep. Uh, I didn't um, know. Oh, uh, uh, um, pretty hard to see what that is. Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, mm. mashed potatoes. Yeah. No, that they actually tell you. Oh, okay. What is America's number one refrigerated guacamole brand? <laughs> That's not what I saw, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> what is America's number one? Oh, it looks like mashed potatoes. Doesn't look very green. But no, it, yeah. well, guacamole isn't too well, green. Uh, number in one, and it's green here. <laughs> oh, okay. Refrigerated guacamole brand: Heinz, Hernandez, Holy Guacamole, Guacamole Hut, Holy Guacamole. Guac you not? Speedy guns. <laughs> Holy gua Wow. Nacho Mama? <laughs> Gary's Guac? Nacho Mama's good. Holy Guacamole? 
Alex, you have an answer? Sorry, wait, again, what? <laughs> I got him on early. America's number one refrigerated guacamole brand. Yeah, good luck. A refrigerated guacamole brand. Yeah. I, yeah, it looks I like mac know. and cheese, you know, that brand. I'm a Californian. Uh, okay. We just made our own every time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Burke, answer. what's your answer? Uh, I, I really don't know. I, I heard someone, I heard you say Erdes. I would like to think it's Erdes, but I don't think they make guacamole. No. The, it everything is they, indeed, else they make is awesome. It sounds like a joke, but the brand is... Holy guacamole. What? Eric Duckman has the correct spelling. Holy guacamole. Wow. I just thought people were being snarky. No, I know. I know. Wow. Is, oh, is avocado a fruit or a vegetable? Is avocado fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> Both fruit avocado. I think it's a fruit. You know, it is interesting. Vegetable. <laughs> it's a floor wax. It's green, must be a vegetable. Um Burke, what's your guess? Fruit or veggie? I believe it's a fruit. A fruit. I concur. And fruit. Alex, fruit. It is indeed a fruit. Woohoo! Um. Okay. We'll. Okay. We'll go on to a, and then we'll only oh, get Dennis down here. Um. All right. So, I don't know if we did this, but if we did it, we're doing it again. Guys walking into the kitchen, ladies on the phone, and the guy says, are you on the phone? And you reply with a snappy answer, which is, you write it. Are you, woman, oh yeah, if you're just listening, woman is on the phone in the kitchen, and the man walking in looks at her holding the phone and says, are you on the phone? And you say, no, I'm turning on the oven. No, the phone is next to me. Oh, that's very funny. Are you on the phone? No, the phone is next to me. No, I'm holding the phone. I'm on the floor. Oh, another one, no, on on the floor. No, I'm getting wax out of my ear. Hold on, all circuits are busy. No, I'm only talking into it. Yeah, I'm on the phone. No, I'm off the phone. No, it's a landslide. No, the phone is on me. These are great. No, my ear is on the phone. No, I'm on the big banana. No, I'm next to the phone. No, this is a movie prop and you just ruined the take. Wow, showbiz answer. Uh, no, I'm typing in that answer. No, I'm using a fax. Uh, no, help me remove this ear swab. No, I'm waiting for paternity test results. And we'll end with Mr. Dave. No, putting super glue on the receiver wasn't funny. Okay, Jaffe said, how Jaffe wrote the book, are you on the phone? And his snappy answers are, oh, we got some matches. No, I'm digging wax out of my ears with this lovely plastic scoop. No, this is a dumbbell and I'm doing exercises. No, I'm talking to myself through this U-shaped tube. And whoever bought this book filled it in. No, I'm trying to shove myself through this thing to get to New York. Pretty funny. No, I'm just ignoring you, says Burke. Uh, okay. Let me. Oh, you can play for this while I call Dennis. Uh, we're playing for a number. What is the largest collected Collection of banana-related memorabilia. We're looking for a number. This guy has collected every single thing to do with a banana. How many items in his collection to earn a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records? 
Oh, that's funny. Dwindle says that guy's bananas. Oh, said admire that guy's bananas. Several. Five hundred? A million? Uh, okay. No one has ever collected banana related memorabilia. I got news to you. Forty two million. Fifty seven thousand items. Forty eight thousand. Ten thousand. Thirty three thousand. I don't know, but I bet his wife hates. Oh, wow, we've got several people in, Ooh, in the thirty-two thousand right range. Yeah, um, I just saw a video about this. Thank you, YouTube. Um, still waiting for the banana hammock to complete its connection. Twenty-five thousand, <laughs> thirty-five thousand, fifty thousand. Well, how many banana things can there be? Um, I bet you, Alex knows. <clears throat> um. 8,000 is my answer. Alex, how many? This guy's collecting everything related to a banana. How many items in his banana related collection does he have? About 5,000. 5,000. Burke? 10,000. 10,000? Wow. The answer is. Ken Bannister USA is the owner of the International Ban Banana Club Museum. Oh, banana in club. California. <clears throat> he has 17,000 banana related items. That's too many that bananas. Been, yeah, I have to say that's a bit overboard. That he has been collecting since 1972. I want to know what his wife thinks about it. Uh or his probably partner. not much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or a lot. Uh, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dennis should be on his way down. And let me get a pencil and paper for him. Uh, Alex, what are you doing to those computers? Uh, um, these are a couple editors or photographer spares that I'm preparing to deploy out to a photographer gotcha cleaning uh, them up okay we're gonna start yep. cool. just, just in case dennis fell asleep dumb donald was so dumb how dumb dick how, was he how dumb was he thank you oh, sorry he was <laughs> he's so dumb when he took takeout from the chinese restaurant he didn't buy chopsticks he bought blank sticks dumb donald was so dumb <sighs> I'll change it. When Dumb Dumb Donald was so dumb when he ate Chinese food, he didn't use chopsticks. He used blank sticks. No music? Oh, we got it. We got music. Okay, okay. Right now. Okay. Oh, now, wait. Oh, wrong wait music. A second. Let's see here. Okay. Here we go. I was wondering this what. One. Okay. My chat room stopped. Hang on. That's the slow, that's the slow one. There we go. Fish sticks, paint sticks, pickup sticks, night sticks, dip sticks. Pick up, wonton sticks. Then you can just answer. Um, dumb Donald was so dumb when he ate Chinese food. Instead of chopsticks, he used blank sticks. Okay, you could say you it that loud. Dumb Donald was so dumb, he ate chops. He ate Chinese food with blank sticks instead of chopsticks. All right, Dennis is stuck for an answer. Oh, I finally got a match. Walking sticks, stir sticks, nunchucks, drumsticks is great. Broomsticks. Uh, Burke, you said Dumb Donald used what kind of sticks? <laughs> Dip sticks. Oh, that's very funny. I'm not sure you got a match. I don't think funny. so. <laughs> uh, Alex, you said Dumb Donald was so dumb he used blank sticks. What kind of sticks? Bread sticks. That's, mm. a, that's a very funny answer. Thank you. I know I got... I know I got two matches. Hockey sticks. 
Okay. Thank you. Um. Um. <laughs> Let's see if there's possibly a family-friendly answer to this. At the maternity ward, proud Paula said, our new son's going to be an explorer. No matter where you lay him down, his blank points north. (laughs) (laughs) At the maternity ward, proud... Paula said, I'm sure our new son is going to be an explorer. No matter how you lay him down, his blank points north. (coughs) I mean, look, big toe, tally wagger, big toe. Compass, oh, that's funny. Pointed finger, his willy, his Apple Watch, his nose, his eyes, his belly button, his big toe, his appendage, his pointer, his manhood, his finger, magnetic arrow, his naughty bit, armpit hair, belly button, arrow, little boy part, appendix. God, I went so, I went so. Easy on this. Um, Proud Paula said, our new son's certainly going to be an explorer no matter how we lay him down. His thumb points north. I'm not even sure I got a match. Uh, Burke, you said his antenna, okay, points north. Dennis? <laughs> Um, who did you match? Oh, Eric Duckman. Then it said Compass and Alex. His finger, yay! Well, thumb, we're matching thumb and finger. Yes. Oh, Charlie. The generic, the generic mm-hmm. version. A uh, yeah. Um, dumb door was so dumb. Hey, how, how dumb was she? Well, she thought her sports. Minded husband would like to have spaghetti and blank balls for dinner. Dumb door is so dumb. She thought her sports minded husband. Oh, Alex is rumbling. It's so funny. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's that Alex. Okay. I was wondering what was it? Buffalo going through the control room. Uh, dumb door is so dumb. She thought her sports minded husband would like spaghetti and blank balls. Uh, uh, uh. A lot of chuckling around. Yeah. Billiard balls, golf balls, bowling balls, space balls, bocce, ping pong. Becky says hi. Magic eight balls, baseballs, rugby. Uh, you have an answer, Dennis? Base. Uh, baseballs. Um. Okay, dumb door. So dumb, she thought her sports-minded husband <clears throat> likes spaghetti and baseballs. Oh, yeah, and racquetballs, Nerf balls. Okay, Alex, dumb door, made her sports-minded husband spaghetti and baseballs. Okay, you match Dennis. Uh, Burke, spaghetti and blank balls. You said pickle Ooh. balls. Oh, no match. <laughs> um, no, uh, I got a couple matches Spaghetti and golf balls Alright, we could do one more And then Charlie uh, uh, um. Bert said Don't forget, this is a long time ago The salad bar craze Has gotten out of hand I just went to a blank That had a salad bar Charlie, you're next. Bert said, the salad bar craze has gotten out of hand. I just went to a blank that had a salad bar. Charlie, you're next. (laughs) Can you hear him, chat room? 
<laughs> it's so funny. I heard him a little. Went to a blank that has a salad bar. Uh, oh, a bathroom, urgent care center. Strip club is very funny. Uh, funeral hall is excellent. Proctologist's office. A McDonald's. Well, they do have salad bars, don't they? A livestock auction. Outhouse. Oh, my God. Uh, a library. A cemetery. A candy store. A parachute school. Weight room. Um, okay, I'll start with me. Um, Bert said, this salad bar craze gotten too far. I just read, a, I just went to a blank that has salad bar. Service station, I got a match. Someone said gas station. Um, Burke, you said, I just went to a blank with a salad bar. A rave. It's a dance party uh, that the kids have. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alex, you said, just went to a blank that had a salad bar. A twit brick house. Well, I guess that's inside and funny. Dennis said, I just went to a bordello. Oh. That's funny. Yeah, you got some matches. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I Charlie. Charlie. Oh, my God. Charlie, you'll be up in one second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's <laughs> It's time to meet. The, 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 the. <laughs> Charlie, come on. All right, hang on. Can you pick him up and give him to me? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay, Charlie. Okay. Oh, boy, Charlie, yeah. Oh, boy, there you go, Charlie. I know I'm holding your tail against me. Look at Charlie, look at the, the chat room. Oh boy, Charlie got a Charlie has his wagtail on. Charlie has a chip and a wagtail. Okay, is this good, Charlie? Is this good? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Thanks, Tech Dino. Okay, you've been watching regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Charlie the Dog, Myra Joyce, Burke, Alex, Beatmaster, Super Roo, Loke, Eric Duckman, Becky, Myra, Stooge, Caesar, Gamma B, Doug M, Ranger Rick, I said it again, Chicago Tim, Morgus, ZX, Rintero, Mike Mann, TI-83, BlackRock, Mr. Dave, Okaroo, Roberto Hellman, Dwindle, Declare, Giz1. Oh, repeats are going up. And brought to you by Turtle Wax. Remember, it's not just for turtles anymore. And of course, our associate producer, George Davis. Till next time, this is the Gizwiz, Dick D. Bartolo. See you Thursday. We're back to Thursdays for the Gizwiz show. Bye. Bye. Boy, that's the longest steam ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I supposed to cut you off? Sorry. Oh, well, no. Normally it ends. <laughs> okay. Well, normally isn't uh, what I'm all about. <laughs> apparently <laughs> uh all right chat room that was great fun i think i might uh, i think i'm also running tomorrow or next week's show i'm not sure i have to double check if john's back okay there, but okay um, you know i think john said in his video well, i'll see you saturday and then i'll be right. gone again but my uh, calendar anyway either well, way yes. Yes. yeah e either way um, okay, enjoy your new mad. Don't show, don't put anything online until four days from now. I won't um, say a word. Okay, very good. Bye, Alex. Okay, Thanks see you next week. You. Okay, bye. Bye, Dick. Bye. Thanks, chat room. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, are you sure you want to leave?